one of the biggest reasons why I would promote Arista MD and using electronic consultation is for the quality of care for our patients. I think that's the bottom line in reality. It, it definitely, because there are so many ways to approach quality of care, making sure your providers are knowledgeable, making sure they have the resources to make good decisions and care plans. Um, and this is a way to do it without the expense as much as Sim seeing a face-to-face. -face. It's more direct and more influential, I think, on your care plan because it's very specific and they specifically address certain medical issues um, that are more important um, in the care. Um, so I, I can't see how anyone would not want to use it. it. It's just, I think it's that important. And you, you can measure quality of care by your hemoglobin A1Cs and, and by your blood pressure measures, but there are so many other ways to measure quality of care because the patient has a lot of social determinants of health that affect their health. And those are the things like driving to an appointment, taking off work, how much things cost. If you can address that part of their health care and the quality of their care, that's just as important as that hemoglobin A1C or that blood pressure or anything else that you can measure. It's, it's because they're going to be more compliant with what the plan is if they have more knowledge and they, the provider can talk to them about how a specialist is involved in their care. So you just can't, so yeah, the bottom line is quality of care, but it's not in the way that you typically measure it. It's in the other way that you measure it, the patient satisfaction, the patient experience, and that improves their quality of care. So that's it. Arista MD has cited other uh, clients that have experienced a measured decrease in the need for emergency room uh, intervention. And uh, in terms of wait times, I can tell you that um, the traditional referral route that we have for a segment of our population, it's going to be another two weeks before they can uh, process the referrals that we've been sending. And um, thinking through that, imagine, well, what if we just do an e-consult? Usually uh, uh, 12 to 24 hours is more than enough time to get the patient onto the next step in their process of care. Mm -hmm.